Hey everyone, Entash here, and today I wanted to talk about a very bang for your buck charm that I think if you're looking for something defensive, you need to pick up. Now charms, for the most part, are extremely expensive to craft. A lot of them require a gem or a ruby. If you look at something like the critical charm, this one is the epitome of, oh my god, I'm gonna have to grind. And critical charm isn't even that great. There's a lot of them that require multiple gems, multiple items, and they're gonna be quite expensive to craft. However, one, if you just give me a second here, just give me, just give me one second, I, I gotta go all the way up, hold on, just, it's right near the top, one second, uh, right, uh, no, there, no, where are you, come on, this is embarrassing, I'm trying to make, found it, the blessing charm, now the blessing charm provides the divine blessing perk, which is an extremely defensive perk, I know, some people like to just stack attack and do as much damage as possible, but if you find yourself dying, divine blessing can save your life, when you activate it, which is, somewhat random, it will reduce all damage taken by 15%. If you level it up again, 30%. If you level it up again, 50% reduced damage. The value on that is insane. And the reason why I suggest this charm is it's quite cheap to upgrade all the way to level 3. If you're looking to stay alive more often, Divine Blessing can be phenomenal. And knowing that you can get it on your charm at a relatively cheap cost is beautiful. So if you look at level 1, uh, it's just some level, like base level, low rank, Paolamu, webbing, pelt, some coral bone, aqua core ore, nothing too crazy. This is very attainable stuff, so we're gonna, we're gonna purchase that. Um, now if you look at upgrading this bad boy, if I can find it, once again, very, very easy items to get. Paolamu wing, uh, Palamu Pelt Plus, which is going to be the high rank version, but still extremely easy to get. One of the most common drops in the Palamu. Sturdy Bone, again, extremely easy to get. And then a Spirit Core Ore, once again, extremely easy to get. So even right now, if you were to level this up, you would have 30% reduced damage taken uh, when this procs. It's not all the time, but when it procs, 30% reduced damage taken. This could save your life in a lot of scenarios. So even just getting to level 2 is extremely cheap, and you can get it quite early in the game. So let's do it. Now, here is where things get exciting, in my opinion, is getting it to level 3, once again, compared to all the other charms, all the other late-game items. This one is one of the cheapest to get to level 3 in the game. High commendations, you're going to get those relatively early as you play through the campaign, as you start getting into the high-ranked hunts, as you start getting into the tempered enemies. High commendations are not going to be very uh, tough to get. I've got 12 of them right now, and I've been crafting like crazy lately. Dragon Bone Relic. If you spend any time hunting bones, you're going to get Dragon Bone Relics. Brutal Bone. Once again, not that tough to get. And then the Dream Core Ore. Again, very easy to get. The Blessing Charm 3 is one of the easiest level 3 charms you can get in the game. And so you might be stuck on a level 1 or a level 2 charm here and there, but this one is going to be one of the fastest you can get all the way to level 3. It's going to bring a lot of value to your character. It's one of the best defensive buffs in the game. And I highly recommend if you're struggling against enemies, if you've got the materials, give this thing a shot. It might be the difference between winning and losing. And is going to be a whole lot of value for your materials. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.